There will be a total of 10 lifeguards. Seven will be here at Isla Blanca Park, two at Andy Bowie Park, and one will serve as a rover. But to pay for that program, those visiting the beaches will see a dollar fee increase. In just a few days, this sign at the entrance gate of Isla Blanca Park on South Padre Island will need to be replaced because come June 30th, there will be lifeguards on watch high above the sand. Cameron County reached an agreement with the town of South Padre Island, which put a beach patrol within city limits three years ago. The county will pay $107,000 to help expand the beach patrol program to station seven lifeguards and watchtowers on Isla Blanca Park and two lifeguards and watchtowers at Andy Bowie Park. The 10th lifeguard will be used wherever needed. I mean, every time that there's a, is a, uh, a drowning or whatever, you know, it, it comes to surface and people want us to provide lifeguards. Um, we wouldn't have been able to do it ourselves because it would have cost us more money. Having lifeguards on watch is good news for Fernando Garcia of FAR, who spends nearly every weekend on South Padre Island and has witnessed close calls. Like two months ago, uh, one guy got into a tie and kind of like got a lot of trouble to get out. But uh, yeah, somebody helped him out and the guy was good. The program will run from June 30th to September 4th. Next year, the lifeguards will be in place starting in March, increasing the cost to $247,000. And beachgoers beware, the added safety measures come at a price. Starting July 1st, you'll pay a $5 fee to enter county beach parks. A low price, Eric Garcia says, to feel secure. It's cool to be safe and have your kids in the water knowing that someone can, you know, save them if something were to happen. Like, it's pretty good to have lifeguards. I think that's a good idea. Actually, I mean, a dollar for your safety, you know, it's even better. It's better to be a dollar than ten dollars. County officials say the agreement is set for the next three years with hopes of expanding that program to beach access five and six. Reporting from South Padre Island, Daisy Martinez, Action for News.